everyone welcome to my channel my name's lizzie this is pillow talk saturday and we are gonna get right into it because i'm very tired and i'm gonna go straight to bed after this um i'm going to film this is the last time filming with the saint patrick's day stuff so the next time i sit here it will be all easter stuff until then i will be positioned other places around my apartment but let's start with some music channel song I'm not really sure what we're talking about I'm not really calling this a love therapy session I'm going to try to spice up these pillow talk readings and just make it a love reading instead of therapy so let's see what's going on in the love department today in the collective music wise Ugh. Too many, there's like five. Let's get clear and precise one at a time, if you could please, Spirit. I guess two. Hmm. Okay. So, feminine energy. Sorry, I. <laughs> I just ate something with powdered sugar and I feel like it's all over. It's my cheat day. The last two days were my cheat days. I didn't really go that hard. I spaced it out, but, you know, I had a little, whatever. If I have powdered sugar, I don't do drugs. It's, it's just sugar. <laughs> I'm always scared of, like, coming out of the donut shop and having, like, powdered sugar and everyone would be like, what a cocat. Like, what? I eat sugar. What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't have a Coca Cola. <laughs> I don't. Anyone who knows me, it's hilarious. I don't. I'm scared of cocaine. Like, it's so addictive. I don't even want to be in the same room with it. I'm like, no, thank you. Ah, I'm out. <laughs> anyway, so the feminine energy is Ella Henderson, yours. This is a really pretty song, but. You should listen to the whole song because I'm only focusing on some of the lyrics. I'm going to read them to you. I'm not going to sing them because I want you to focus on the message in the song. <sighs> breathless. So maybe this Divine Feminine is like a little winded, a little breathless. Getting heated now. Oh, snap. I was just freezing. I wear your winter coat, the one you love to wear. So I keep feeling close. I can't even read my own chicken scratch. Let me start over. <laughs> I wear your winter coat, the one you love to wear, so I keep feeling close to us beyond compare. The moment we can have, you catch me in your eyes. The beauty on my pillow that holds me in the night. I really sang that wrong. <laughs> I thought I was catch you in my arms. <laughs> anyway, the beauty on my pillow that holds me in the night and I wish my strength to untame my mouth when I used to be afraid of the words. But with you I've learned, I can't even freaking talk. This person's throat chakra is like, don't say nothing. <laughs> So whoever the feminine is in this energy, it's like, I ain't saying shit. <sighs> I'm fucking this up, but I, I feel like my throat chakra keeps getting squeezed. <laughs> um, <sighs> just listen to the song. I'll pick up where I was. Um. That beauty on my pillow that holds me in the night. And I will find my strength to untame my mouth when I used to be afraid of the words. But with you, I've learned just to let it out. Now my heart is ready to burst because I feel like I'm ready for love and I want to be your everything and more. And I know every day you say it, but I just want you to be sure that I am yours. Okay, so this person wants to say it. I don't think they know. I think they're 
for some physical reason not saying this, not expressing their feelings, I kind of feel like the vibes, they want to know how you feel first. And then it would be like a flood. Um, or again, there's some kind of restriction why they're not just like, hey, you got me. <laughs> oh my God, see, there's that powdered sugar. Oh my God, no, that's frosting. <laughs> Might have had a cookie fight with a seven-year-old a little bit ago. It was fun. Kid in the building. <laughs> Um, photograph, <laughs> Nickelback, every memory of looking out the back door, I had the photo album spread out on the bedroom floor, it's hard to say it, time to say it, goodbye, goodbye, every mem memory of walking out the, okay, so they, they're trying to forget about this Divine Feminine but they keep looking back. So I feel like this might be a situation where um, either this Divine Masculine just doesn't want to be in this connection or they have something or they're committed to something else. But Divine Feminine's like, in this situation, you got me. And Divine Masculine's over here like, goodbye. And then your overall message or collective energy for this love reading is Billy Holidays, I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places that this heart of mine embraces all day through. In that small cafe, the park across the way, the children's carousel, the chestnut trees, the wishing well, I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer day, in everything that light and gay I'll always think of you that way. I'll find you in the morning sun, and when the night is new, I'll be looking at the moon. I'll be seeing you. You're both far apart. I feel like kind of I'm hearing Bruno Mars looking at the moon. You're apart, thinking of each other. Masculine is clearly um, either giving up on this connection or not giving any energy. And I feel like that's a lot of why this Divine Feminine is pulling back their energy. Let's see if I can channel the Divine Feminine. I'm just going to try to channel them like I would try to channel a deceased loved one. You can use your mediumship with your tarot, not just for departed loved ones. You go up, tap into their higher self. Try to get there. These spirit guides and angels, clear and precise messages about and for the Divine Feminine on this particular love journey. What's going on with the Divine Feminine? How are they feeling? Too many. A little bit more clear and precise. I'm not sure this will go anywhere if I did put the effort in. So that's why they're being quiet. There's no effort, no movement on the divine masculine side. I'm not sure which side you're on. I'll let you place that. We have in your pride. So I feel like this person is protecting themselves. They're afraid of rejection. They also might feel like the divine masculine has a bit of an ego or is 3D based. You cheated on me with them. It broke me apart and shattered my whole world. So, there you have it. There was some cheating here for some of you. If you're if this is a connection that has never got really never really got off the ground, they just feel cheated by that because you're with someone or they're with someone. We haven't really figured that out yet, but they feel cheated by a situation or you literally cheated to buy masculine. Tell me more about how the Divine Feminine is feeling at this time. I'm sorry, I have really low energy. I got three hours of sleep in two days. Well, five hours, two hours one day, three hours yesterday. And after this, I'm sleeping for a solid eight. And I gotta get up. My apartment is a shithole right now. 
<laughs> partying and coming and going all week. Saturday's my scrub day. Scrub the toilet. Clean my undies day. Go to the grocery store. Because <laughs> my Monday is Sunday. I'm trying to channel. I'm buying myself some time. I don't like empty space. <laughs> I feel like this Divine Feminine is like looking into... I'd give anything to be in your arms again. No one will ever compare to you. I definitely feel like this Divine Feminine sees you in their sleep, feels you hugging them in their sleep. That's like a, five, a powerful 5D fire connection right there. Um, but they're heartbroken that either they're cheated by a situation they can't have you because you're with someone else or you cheated. They, they want you to come back together. They want a life with you, but they're not somebody that's going to step on someone's toes and they don't feel like they have a shot. They don't, they're not even sure if it's real, I'm feeling. I think they're just looking into the Divine Masculine, looking for clues, looking for signs on what to do here, planning my moves. I feel like they're focused on their future. Um, they're very open to love. They want love like you are the one they want, but I don't feel like this Divine Feminine is in the energy of I'm waiting for you. So I think they're planning their dating life. Um, Ultimately, they want to be happy. Yeah, they want to settle down. They want a family. Um, they were hoping for it with you. Um, but the balancing act came up, or up, down, right? Upright. What am I trying to say? It came upside down. I feel like they just don't want to balance anymore. Like, should I stay or should I go? So they're just going to start looking for um, somebody that can make them happy and try to put you away. But they do want you back. They might be planning a way to express that. They want to know how you feel. Yeah, they want to know how you feel about them. And I think they're hoping that they're <laughs> you're going to say this to them or that you just want them in general. I feel like once they get that, all systems go like a, a clear and precise sign that you like them. I think that they will speak up. Anything else we need to know about how the Divine Feminine feels? Wishing on a star. So they're always like putting, holding out for you, hoping that you'll see their worth and come back. But like I said, this person knows their worth. They're not going to take less. Um, they don't feel like you would love them um, correctly until you speak your truth. I don't think you want anything to do with me. I don't think you want to hear me out or accept my apology. So they feel like they wronged you in some way. Or they just feel like they think you're very funny. They like your sense of humor and you're forgiven. So if you've done something to them, they forgive you. But they might feel like you, maybe you did stuff to each other. They just feel like you can't move past it. Or they're feeling this cold... <laughs> I want to sleep with you very badly. This person wants you hardcore, but they're feeling like a, a complete shutdown, cold shoulder, like you want nothing to do with them. There's things, people, in the way of me coming forward and telling you how I feel. I'm working on it. I'm finding my way to you. Hold on. So either this is how they feel you, if you're with the person, then this is how they think that they feel like if they wait, you're going to tell them soon that, you know, yeah, you're just trying to be a survivor and do what you need to do. But I feel like ultimately they're saying there's a reason why I'm not coming forward. You're with someone or they're with someone or there's there's a, a logical reason why keeping their feelings to themselves would be a good idea. Let's go to the Divine Masculine and see how they're feeling for this Divine Feminine in this love situation. Goodbye, Shamrock Bear. Lucky Bear. We will see you next year. <laughs> that guy over there. It's real old school. I think we will be or are a power couple. So they see a strong connection, even. 
yeah, fisty cuffs, but there's some, either there's some karmic shit that they're dealing with, they have some people that aren't happy about this, or you two are beefing, or they're mad about something here, tell me more, what is this fisty cuffs about, how's the divine masculine feeling about the divine feminine, how is the divine masculine feeling about Miss Independent or Mr. Independent? Um, they feel like they, you don't need them and that is scary to them because I feel like this Divine Masculine is kind of wa either wanting to be needed or you used to being needed. They uh, might not know how to handle someone. Um, this isn't a woman or a man that's going to be bought or take a bunch of bullshit. Um, but this is something that they love about you as well. A man or a woman, they love that you can do for yourself, that you don't um, depend on anyone. And I feel like that's a matched independence. I feel like if you're the Miss Independent, they're uh, Miss Independent if you're same sex or Mr. Independent place where it fits. That's a mirrored energy. What is this fisty cuffs? Why are, are the Divine Masculines upset? I'm afraid to move or move on. So they're afraid of the reaction to their karmic. I feel like they might be a bit abusive, mentally abusive, or just highly reactive, manipulative. Don't be hateful. <laughs> so yeah, there, there's some karmic trouble here. Or they're fearing that the Divine Feminine is going to bite their face off that they're angry because there was some cheating stuff on that side. So if this person, if this Divine Masculine cheated, they're afraid of a serious retaliation. But they do see a strong couple here. Um, they're afraid to leave whatever they're in. Um, it's very hostile and toxic. It's not going to be easy. Um, they're not with somebody who's independent. They're with someone who's codependent. They could be in some kind of power couple, like known as a couple. Uh, but they actually see that connection with you, want that connection with you. How is the Divine Masculine feeling about... Oh my God. I wish it was you. I fucking shit you not. So they're in some kind of... <laughs> power couple situation they're in like a marriage long term this person is very hateful very spice spicy and saucy and home life is not good despite what's going on or what people see um this person is very independent in their relationship they might have an open relationship or they just fight a lot at home they're afraid of what this person's gonna do um yeah head of the table in a commitment, the person wears the pants in that relationship financially or, you know, they entangled themselves in a, a very dangerous scenario. Somebody who's probably blackmailing, using kids' money, um, got to take care of their shit. They can't allow this karmic to know anything about the Divine Feminine. I have a surprise for you. I'm coming soon. Ooh, damn. So I feel like that's what the icy, frosty fucking sol <laughs> soldier. Maybe they are a soldier. I didn't mean to say that. The frosty, cold shoulder vibe is them protecting you, I feel, from this crazy-ass karmic. I really feel like they're like going for custody, dividing assets, probably trying to find... A place to live. Like, let's see what the energies are. Oh, wait. I forgot to do charmies. <laughs> Let me shake it. I'm sorry. Charms. I know. I've been watching other tarot readers. There's a lot of people that call them charmies, but it's rubbing off. I just should say charms. <laughs> I don't mean to say it. But let's get charms for the divine feminine. This thing is deep, and there's lots of shit in here, so let me look how big my basket is. <laughs> let me dig a little, shall we? I'm going to dig a few times. Oh, we have Chip. I love Chip. So this could be a, a divine feminine that has children or wants children or has a child like spirit they might have like a chip in their tooth or just have a sweet childlike nature um this could be someone that you're friends with or you're going to start as friends 
or are just friends because of what's going on. Um, follow your dreams, believe in yourself, and don't give up. This Divine Feminine is going after something in the career space. Ooh, I got a bunch of letters. I have T, as in Tom, U, as in Umbrella, V, as Victory, O, as in Olive, A, as in Adam, B, as in Ben. I see boo <laughs> so <laughs> with this B-O um, either they think the situation this whole scenario stinks and they're just like boo I don't like it two I think this divine feminine wants to go to the divine masculine hoping they'll come back to them as well Not really spelling anything else or getting anything else. Let's get more. <laughs> Sometimes I get stuff from words. Hello, guys. Huh? This is not food. Don't get excited, okay? <laughs> oh, you're helping me? Thank you so much, guys. Huh? She's very into your reading, guys. Oh, you want the. She loves these things. Hey, she's stealing your letter. <laughs> Where did it go? Garza! I think it was an M. It was an M. I don't know where it went. Little shit. We love you, you naughty little poop. Seriously, Garza. Where'd it go? Gaia. Don't be ruthless like Mother Earth. <sighs> <laughs> I'm just going to take that. Just like real Mother Earth. That's why her name is Gaia. She's demanding. We have mask wearing. Yes, this Divine Feminine is hiding how they feel for sure. Um, they do feel like this might be a star-crossed lover situation or that you're faded. Um, they could be Aquarius or you could be Aquarius if you're the masculine. Love is a faith that dreams will come true. Love is you. So they're loving themselves hoping that love comes into their life, hoping it's you, but open to whatever spirit brings them. Okay, so you got two M's, a J and a H, hot. So this person thinks that you're hot. I don't have another T, but I'm seeing Mott's, like Mott's applesauce. I don't know why that's relevant. <laughs> Hubba hubba with this H U B is what I'm hearing. Though, wait though. Thumb. Thumbs up. Waiting for the thumbs up <laughs> from the Divine Masculine. Yeah, they're watching the Divine Masculine, keeping their eye on them. You'll love it, guaranteed. So. I think they're just like, whatever spirit brings me, I'm going to be happy with. I'm going to trust that they're going to bring me someone good. Um, but I think they're hoping it's the Divine Masculine. Let's see how the Divine Masculine is feeling. Okay, so we have a W, an E. Hey, stop stealing cards now. Kitty, are you a little cat burglar? She's a cat burglar for real. Pig sis. That's why that word is real. Cat burglars. She's been stealing shit all day. I went to leave and she tried to steal my wallet. The little zipper thing. She hooked it with her nail and ran off. I was like, oh, I need that. <laughs> she didn't want me to leave. Smart little shit. I love her so much. Okay, this is supposed to be a fairy, but the fairy's gone and just the wings, so maybe you're spiritually getting some wings here. Spiritual ascension. So you have two, oh, I'm sorry, no you don't. I just can't, oh yeah, you do. Two H's, an A, a W, an E, 
a V, <laughs> a Q, a J, and a G. We got we. Huh? <laughs> um. Not getting anything else, but we have a dog. So this person is very loyal. They could be a dog person or have a dog, but this is about loyalty and friendship. This person is probably spiritually gifted, gaining some spiritual wings and their ascension with this My Little Pony. They're unique. They stand out. They're authentic. Slight sucks. They're trying to believe in this connection and stay positive. Oh my God, believe in you. That's how you make your dreams come true. They're trying to manifest a, a successful career and put their energy into that right now. Yeah, but they're, they're still stuck on you. Did I do two for them? I don't think I did. That was the first one, right? Oh, this one fell on my lap. One way, they're going back to the Divine Feminines. They have a, a one-way ticket, but they just can't move right now. Like I said, I feel like they're getting out of some shit. Whether it's a karmic situation or just, like, work stuff. Hey, cat burglar, I love you. Can you please get down? No, you can't have my charm. Go away. <sighs> now I have to put the old ones back because she's trying to steal them all. Like the cat burglar thiefer. Lucky you have a cute face. I would put you in kitty prison. Do you want to go to kitty prison? Didn't think so. Bye, cute face. <laughs> Bitches. I like it. <laughs> I like animals with some stank and some tune. That's a ghetto cat right there. Stealing some shit. Good for you, kitty. Good for you. You survive on them streets. <laughs> she did. Where she found me. So we have more letters. W, X, R, L, R, X, like pharmacy. Someone could be sick here. We have Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups. That's also referred to as a cancer card. We have Stung, Busy Bee, Working for Love. Every Everything I do, I do for you is playing my head by Brian Adams. Hashtag selfie. This person's been trying to... Thirst trap this Divine Feminine, like, don't I look good? You know you want me, Divine Feminines. That's what they're doing. And they're dreaming, especially sex dreams right now, about the Divine Feminine. Sorry about you, baby kitty. There ain't no more charms. Can you please? Please? Goodbye, baby love. Have a good morning. Go take a nap. I just fed you. <laughs> Shitty Max, you and your daughter. You don't want it. City's coming out. All right, let's see the Divine Feminine's energy. The symbol. Think twice before sharing what you know with anyone, except those who you know without question are ready to hear it. So yeah, they're not going to express anything until they know that this Divine Masculine is serious and all in. So they're keeping their thoughts to themselves. What's the energy of the Divine Masculine? Too many. Too many energies. Let me shuffle. Could have some karmic energy over here. Masculines. The Balancer. Soar beyond all limiting concepts and embrace your spiritual self in the place beyond female and male where we all truly are one energy. This person is trying to balance their uh, masculine and feminine side, trying to balance their emotion and get through their shit. Um, they're, getting, they're cleaning up their side of the street to make room for this divine feminine. Doing that work. Let's see how the Divine Feminine sees the connection. Like how, if the, what is the Divine Feminine daydreaming about? How do they view you as a couple? How do they feel in their hearts? Because this is in images. I feel like it helps. I made this deck through other people's artwork. I didn't make any of these. I don't sell it. I just made it for my own personal use. 
All right, Divine Feminine, how do they feel about their relationship with the Divine Masculine, or how do they see it? I'm going to get a few. How does the Divine Feminine... <laughs> this one really talks. Well, I made all these, so I feel like... Me and my guides, <laughs> yeah, they're sliding all over the place. Too many. A little bit more clear, please. <laughs> all right, so definite friendship vibes here. Playful energy. You can be yourselves with each other. Have a good time anywhere, which is good. Um, they see you as someone that they could talk to. Sorry. Um, that they could vent their feelings out and that you'll listen and vice versa. They miss you when you're gone. They see a great connection, like, but also that distance won't be a problem, that you're going to make it work because you can communicate or that's what they're hoping for. Um... And then we have a lot of sexual energy. We have some playfulness, um, a lot of shower stuff. They might have or just see you spending a lot of time getting ready for the day in the morning might be like the time you guys bond. But this person is very supportive of you and your image. Um, make a look at my man, look at my lady. <laughs> and the playfulness like, oh yeah? You want to be late for work? Look at that. You know what I mean? Like their playful friendship vibe. But then you also have some fierce passion. Like you can hang out, but it always goes to a sexual place. Like you just can't. You literally can't help it. All right, let's see how the masculine sees and feels about the relationship. What they daydream about. to dominate there's a lot of sexual tension and they always see themselves like <laughs> that the same vibe like friends playing around like oh yeah but it always goes to a sexual place like you can't just hang out even when you're like bragging like my team's gonna win over your team oh yeah my team's gonna and then your hands are in each other's pants like you can't just be friends Wait, look, a lot of discussions in bed, they also see you as people who talk things out. Kind of getting those like late at night morning vibes, like you guys talking in the bedroom, getting ready for your day. Yeah, how was your day? How was your day? Like there's a lot of talking, which is really beautiful. A strong connection, strong friendship. Look at skin to skin. But they also see you with kids in the future or co-parenting together. They see you as a good parent. Someone who appreciates what it costs to be a parent. Like giving up, like if, especially if you're dating someone and you're not a parent and they are, there's like big time sacrifices. Or you're just going to have kids together or you both have kids. Whatever your situation is, I haven't got that far yet. Let's see how. Some more thoughts. And we'll get into how you see each other. Divine Feminine, what do you want to talk to the Divine Masculine about? Unavailable. You're unavailable. I don't want you until you are free. 
That's what I'm feeling. This person doesn't want to be your friend, doesn't want to hang with you, doesn't want communication. This person, this divine feminine wants all or nothing. And I feel like that was a hard call for them to make. They're healing from that, that you're unavailable. That's what hurt their heart. That's what they're upset about. Um, that's what the Divine Feminine want to say. But yeah, they see you as their twin flame. This is why it hurts. They are Their twin flame is married or with someone else or rejected them. So they are like, well, I'm pulling back. But if this person believes that you're their twin flame, they know that pullback is part of it. And right now they feel like all you want from them is sex. But they're longing for more. They have deep passion for you. And they're trying to, to get over you and master you. Like not master you, but like master getting over you. Master not thinking about you kind of stuff. Like I have cookie frosting. I need to stop eating sweets. <laughs> I went up. I, well, like I said, I spaced it out, but I feel like my body's in check. All right, let's talk about the divine masculine. Denial. Detach with love. Just clearly see the truth. They're in denial about their karmic. They're still scared to leave that comfort zone. They're working on themselves. I think they're going through something either health-wise or just mentally. They don't have a lot of good energy or belief in themselves. They're very low vibrational at this point. So they just don't have the strength to get out of whatever this is. Or the strength to face you. Yeah, there's obstacles in the way like children, other relationships, jobs, but they do want a second chance. They do want this to work, but they are unavailable. They're recognizing that they don't want to come forward until they have something solid. They don't want to half-ass it. They're going to take that leap of faith when they can give something solid because they also see you as somebody who they've loved lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. They're always pulled back to you. You guys are pulled to each other. All right, <laughs> let's see how breathless energy again. How does the Divine Feminine view the Divine Masculine as a person presently, current energy? The High Priestess. So somebody um, either doing well in the career space, um, somebody who's very popular, party animal, very spiritual, um, unique just about having fun and being a free spirit, not about commitment. How does the Divine Masculine see the Divine Feminine? Strength, the home brewer, strong and individual, like they are very authentic. They do things on their own. They don't really need anyone. There's that independent energy. They, they just feel like um, you're like... They're like bad boy, bad girl, and you're the good one. They just see you as somebody who's morally strong, physically strong, emotionally strong. What will your relationship be like together? Quarter life crisis, judgment. You're you're going to get that second chance. Your, your lives are only going to go so far without you two running into each other at some point um, through fate or just mentally keep coming back until one of you is like, I just got to see what this is. Like what's meant for you will be there like no matter what. Let's get some astrology for the Divine Feminine side. Gemini, I think, again, referencing twins, or this person could be a Gemini. You could be a Gemini if you're the Divine Feminine. But they're very in love. G Gemini is the lover's card. Sun, yeah, you're their happiness. Um, could be a Leo. The sun card is the Leo card. Or a fire sign, Sagittarius and Aries as well. This person is all lit up for you. You're the one they want. You're, they'll always want you, but they're not going to take less than they deserve. 
water element sensing. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they have very deep emotions and they're hiding them. They're trying to master these emotions because I feel like um, they lose themselves and you, um, they get caught up in depression and sadness sometimes and they just have to push you away. Second house, owning. Yeah, they want to take ownership of their life and just love themselves and love. They're focusing on loving themselves and loving what they're doing and just putting love completely on the back burner, not even into it right now. Unless it was you and with a good offer, Divine Masculine, because this person isn't going to take an offer. That's half-assed, and I feel like the Divine Masculine knows that. So let's get some... It's really hard to breathe right now. This divine master might be panicking a bit, feeling a bit restless about the situation. Could be going through it thinking they lost them or just the stress of getting away from this karmic is overwhelming. But let's get some astrology here for the divine masculine. Saturn, truth. Okay, so the Saturn plant planet talks about like spiritual downloads ascension um like stepping up uh getting a promotion leveling up seeing the bigger picture learning the lesson in something but also speaking the truth this divine masculine wants to come in and say i i learned the lesson i think they are starting to catch on to this twin flame thing or the soulmate like you're the one that i I think there's an embarrassment of picking someone else. Gemini popped again. So they also feel like you're a twin. That's mirrored energy. You're both in love with each other. Astrology for the Divine Masculine, please. Part of fortune increase. Um, this person could be well off or just focused on money at this point, trying to be well off either to take care of the Divine Feminine or take care of a family they already have and get all that in order. Or they're just building their own empire. You could be mirroring each other and just putting love into yourself and mirroring um, and putting turning into building your own empires if you can't build one together. Uranus, genius. <laughs> You're trying to be smart. There's a difficult situation before this divine masculine, and they're trying to be logical about it. They're trying to do what's best for something that they're already in. I don't feel like this person is a bad person. They're not going to screw over anyone, but I feel like they're kind of being screwed with, especially in the money department with this increase. I feel like someone might be after their money a bit. I just see a bit of a pickle, a sticky situation. I'm trying to stay smart and not... Um, shine any light on their feelings for you divine feminine they don't want this to hit any of you but they do want to tell you the truth that they are you are the one that they want they are in love with you anything else third house messages yeah they're going to communicate soon they just can't write the second i feel it's like literally for legal purposes or the karmic knows about the situation and they're just like watching them like a hawk or they just haven't really decided which way to go yet and getting out of their situation or they might not want to, their karmic to know what they're doing at this point kind of getting that energy all right let's see what's going on with the divine feminine in their life right now this is also a deck i made the animated expression oracle i do not sell these i just make them to channel myself all with other people's artwork that i get off of google images pinterest websites uh, there's a lot of drama going on there's a lot of gossip in this connection this divine feminine is hearing a lot of shit about the divine masculine um, a lot of people are just like talking shit like oh have you heard about so and so so i feel like there's a bit of a, a even more of a distance because of this drama tell me more about this drama mama mask wearing okay so they might be on i think they're on to the karmic the masculine's karmic they know they're like a drama queen but they're they're just either digging for dirt or they see through so this person is also hiding their feelings because of this divine masculine's karmic 
that's crazy. So maybe you guys have sat down and talked and said, look, this person's crazy. Maybe you are in communication and this is, is a role you're both playing, but this Divine Feminine doesn't want anything to do with this karmic's drama or this situation. They don't. They don't want it to fall on them either. So they're hiding. They don't want to be gossiped. They don't want to be called a homewrecker. They don't want to be the reason why people point the finger and say, it's you. You know what I mean? So I feel like they want to be out of that danger zone. They want you to be out of your stuff so that I feel like... I feel like they fear everybody thinking that they destroyed a marriage, especially if there's, like, kids involved. There's, like, a fear of being a homewrecker. Not that I don't feel like this person genuinely cares about what people think, but they, if they have high morals and they're religious, that would really bother someone because there's sins and you're not supposed to step on other like they take that to heart they're not they're not infringing on this relationship because you're with someone so they don't want to talk because they are a good person so they're they're genuinely doing the right thing i like this divine feminine what else is going on in the divine that's not easy to do it's so easy to just cheat because you love each other instead of waiting and doing it the right way. I applaud you, Divine Feminines. Stuck in your head, lost in thought, can't move on. Yeah, they can't get over this Divine Masculine. They're distraught. They're upset. They're like, how did this all get this way? Why do I have to love someone that can't love me back? Replaying scenarios. If there's like fights, if... If they pass you up, they're kicking themselves for it. Less sexual attention. So there's a lot of sexual energy. But I'm also sensing that this person with the, the vivacious um, curves, I think they're recognizing that they're not your type in some way. So they have some body issues, issues towards you. They feel like that's why they're rejected by you because they're curvy. They're not like the skinny average model type and they feel like that's what you want. Yeah, devastated and hurt. They took it as a there was something wrong with their appearance or them like this really devastated them, this devastation or this cheating, like of you being with someone else. They took they took it so personally that they um, have body issues. And rejection, fear of rejection issues. Not saying you did it on purpose. I'm just trying to say so you understand where they're coming from, Divine Masculine. Anything else we need to know about the Divine Feminine and their life? Playing hard to get, facade, acting tough and balanced, denial, stubborn, Res releasing pent up aggression. I feel like the facade is that they're cool, calm, and collected when really they go to the gym and punch the bag and think of you and this whole situation and the karmic and they cry and they are, they're going through it. But they, to you, all you see is everything's cool, calm, and collected, but it, it's not okay with your Divine Feminine. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. Adventure, diving deep, collaboration, creative endeavor, travel, serendipity. This divine masculine wants alone time, wants to travel. Might even want to do a work collab as an excuse to get closer. It's like, I'm not saying this divine masculine wants to keep both of you. Because I do feel an element of this person's getting out of their karmic shit. But they don't, they're not willing to wait. Um... Their karma could have had a baby or their karma could be pregnant, which a pregnancy could be hanging this up. Or they want to take you on vacation and get you pregnant. This is like, I feel like the collaboration of love, diving deep to make that baby. <laughs> Maybe you'll make a baby on a vacation I, or like a honeymoon. This, this masculine is like thinking of ways to get you alone. But they, they want this. They want children with you. 
I don't know why this is feeling like such a time crunch or if this is the karmic that's pregnant, like took him on a vacation and got pregnant. Tell me more. What is this collaboration about with the Divine Masculine? <laughs> they might work with their karmic. Uh, happy shock. Okay, so maybe they rekindled their love with this karmic. They could have just had a baby with the karmic. They were working, collabing, trying to make their marriage work. They had a baby or a pregnancy happened. They weren't expecting it, but they're like, hey, I'm going to be a dad or a mom. Like, <laughs> Or maybe you're pregnant, Divine Feminine. But I am confused. Tell me more. Who is this matriarch? Oh, birthing a new start. It could be they just want to get this off the ground, but I feel like it's both. They want alone time with you so that they can launch this relationship, but this is somebody who wants to, like, get married and have babies. Like, they don't want to waste time. It's not like they want to do it tomorrow, but this is their goal. Like, yes! Ah. Or you guys might actually get pregnant before you guys get married on a vacation. I'm getting a precognitive feely my spidey sense is going i'm just putting it out there if you're not pregnant now this is a foretell this could be a dream the divine masculine had i don't know why i'm hearing this let's dig in <laughs> what's this matriarch about with the divine masculine this could be the baby mama glowing up happiness suspect suspicious looking for clues waiting for the shoe to drop commitment issues so the karmic is like, oh my God, we're a happy family. We love each other. And, you know, the truth is they're suspicious. They've sensed that something was going on with the divine masculine. Um, this might not be a horrible karmic. This just might be somebody who's acting out in shock, especially if they're pregnant. Ugh, what the f is this? What's this glow up and happiness? stuck in their head I tell you, you guys are mirroring each other so they have this life with someone they have a baby mama baby daddy they had this glow up they built this whole thing with someone they're already in something whether they work with this person or they have children or both they're suspicious of this person being shady and catty and things are getting bad I think the happy shock is this divine masculine might be catching on to the fact that this divine feminine might want a new start with them too. What's this happy shock about? Communicating, telling your story, lost in work. Okay, so this is okay. <laughs> Makes more sense. The divine masculine is having a glow up in their career. The, it's like something they're telling their story or releasing some creative project or just something in their workspace is really taking off. It's not a literal baby for most of you. This is like a new project work thing that's sp sprung, took off, and it's happy shock. This is like huge success, money coming in. But then, you know, they're longing for you, Divine Feminine. Work career is going well. Their home situation is shit. They're, they want to collab. They want to build a life with you. But they're also suspicious. They don't know how the Divine Feminine feels either. They're suspicious of their karmic. Um, they don't know what the right thing to do is. Lack mentality. They also are having body issues. Self-esteem issues. Thinking that the Divine Feminine... You're literally mirroring each other. You're both feeling like you got rejected because of how you look. Or the lack of things in your life. And you're both pretending like you don't give a fuck about each other. This is not healthy. <laughs> All right, so what do we need to talk about for both of you? What's going on here? Let's just talk about your relationship in a whole. You guys both want to date each other. You want to get this off the ground. This could be someone from your past. This could be an ex, someone you already dated or want to get it off the ground. I don't feel like you're with them now. 
So the Divine Masculine coming through wants to do the do right by this, wants to come in with a solid offer to really do it the right way. This is whining and dining, not just using sex. Like the, this Divine Masculine wants babies and a marriage and the real deal. So they want to come in with something solid. They want to be successful. They want to reach a level of achievement and, and have the Divine Feminine's head turning and... Not able to question if anyone else will be right for them. They, like, want to steal the show here forever. <laughs> yeah. They're working hard to get towards this Divine Feminine, but they're going to work hard. They're going to fight for this Divine Feminine. And you're both also working hard in your career. You're both very much putting all of your energy in. Oh, my God. Hiccups. Into the career space. That was a hard hiccup and it hurt. Family room. Yeah. Somebody already has a family and they put a lot of work and a lot of energy into this. I feel like it's on the masculine side. Sudden wealth. Message of concern. So like that. Somebody... Somebody's career is really taking off. It could be both of you because that is mirroring energy. A lot of money could be coming in, but I feel like the masculine is doing really well. Um, I feel like the divine feminine is concerned about the divine masculine sensing some kind of trouble in their home life. They might be coming in with some money to help the Divine Masculine get out or the Masculine might be coming in to help the Divine Feminine financially in some way or energetically. Tell me more. <laughs> okay. Occupation. So somebody has a message of concern about their job. Someone, I don't know which side is going to come in and be like, hey, why don't you do this or come work with me so that you guys are close together. I feel like the Divine Masculine might offer the Divine Feminine a job, either working in their house or offer to live with each other because of a child. They have children. They have to get their family in order. Their relationship is over, but they still have responsibilities. Um, but they want to put energy into this. So I feel like they just want to be friends and offer a job and... Not just offer a job because they want to give it to you to be around. They think you're qualified for it. And it's a way to get to know each other. And I don't feel like it's in a catty, shady way. I feel like if they have a child, they might want you to just be a friend and get to know the child and see how the child responds. Or it's going to take some time to get out of their mess and they can't offer anything. So just to have you in their life as a friend and, and be there every day working with them is something that they're thinking about, I feel. It could be feminine, but I feel like it's more on the masculine side. Get some more. What goes on here? Spirit. I like you. You both like each other. You both wonder if it's real. This is like something that you're mirroring. You both feel stabbed in the back. I feel like Divine Feminine feels stabbed in the back because Divine Masculine's with someone else. And I feel like Divine Masculine feels stabbed in the back because of Divine Feminine's cold shoulder and seemingly, like, don't watch you attitude. But you're both heartbroken. You're both hurt and hiding it. You need to have that sit down and come together and tell each other the truth and all of this will literally crumble because that karmic snake is keeping you apart. This karmic energy keeping you guys like, I don't know if this person likes me. All this confusion, that's exactly what they want you to be in. They could use dark arts for that, but there is a karmic snake and their whole purpose is to keep you from getting that divine timing of you coming in to have that sit down and come together because it, all it's going to take is for the divine f feminine to hear the divine masculine say i chose wrong i want you i love you i'm mature i'm ready and then the divine feminine be like i'm ready i'm mature i love you too da, 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 da. and then you two coming together no matter what this karmic does so they're doing everything in their power to make sure that meet never happens 
tell me about the Divine Feminine and their view of the future with you together. I do see you married being on a honeymoon, but this is reference they want alone time with you because they're sick of being in separation. They always have romantic feelings for you. They're recognizing that's never going to go away. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Release your ex pact. They won't even address you until you're single. Point blank, period. I heard. All right, let's talk about the Divine Masculine. They want to marry you or they okay so this is two <laughs> children they're married and they have children with someone they want to be married and have children with you but they have to end this marriage correctly and they have to take care of their kids so they're yeah i have some codependencies that i have to deal with please give me some time i am attracted to you divine feminine I want to give this a chance, but I can't offer you anything right now because I have to take care of my kids and I have to get out of this marriage. Yes, they're freeing themselves. They're healing the issues so that they can co-parent in a healthy way. And they want to let their friends help you by offering a job or getting you in their inner circle some way because they do trust you. They know that you guys are going to wind up together. They want to make amends. They want to earn your trust back. And make you see them as a more mature and stable person. Let's talk about what you need to release Divine Feminine for this to get in a more stable place. Karma. I think you're earning good karma. And this should always be a reference. Like you have a strong moral compass you don't want to infringe on a marriage and I feel like although this is causing you great pain and you feel empty spirit is acknowledging that you are earning good karma by allowing this to unfold the snake is going to get their karma boo boo spirit sees both sides it's not wrong to love someone you didn't act on it you didn't portray a uh, oath you didn't do anything wrong and it's causing you pain and you still stay away to honor an oath said to God and not even said by you. <laughs> that's, a, that's somebody who is loyal to God. You're earning good karma for that. But I think that you need to know, is, is the snake going to get what's coming to them? Yes. But it never happens when we want it to, ever. But you are referencing past life connections here. You might be seeing that. That can bring up a whole array of feelings as well. Um, because of depending on what you're saying, it's not always nice. You want nourishment in this. You feel abandoned. You feel like your energy has been sucked out of your body. Like you've given your mind, body, and soul to this divine masculine, and you feel a hundred percent completely kicked and rejected for it. And your pride is hurt, and your ego is hurt, and your heart is hurt. So now it's time to put all your love into yourself, all your energy into yourself, and and work on that career and make yourself a success story and you know no matter what happens you're going to be okay and if this divine masculine is your one they will make their way back to you but keep those strong boundaries don't keep this person around if they're with someone else don't take less than your worth keep those morals you've been doing a really good job even though it's a great detriment to you um keep filling your universal ba bank in a positive way and you'll be all right in this. Um, all right, let's talk about the Divine Masculine. What do they need to know and or release for this connection? Generosity. This is about um, giving fairly. Um, I feel like Divine Masculine is... Um, in the collective, I've kind of felt the Divine Masculines of the last year in a really dark place, uh, a little bit victim mode, but I, I'm feeling like this is a, a, a big spiritual jump um, of just wanting to do right by the kids and do right by the karmic and, you know, you can sit and fight about things all day, but really they, this Divine Masculine just wants their spouse to be happy, their kids to be happy, and for them to be happy, and for this Divine 
feminine to be happy and it's about giving their time and heart to the best intentions um but they want to give their love and time and attention to this divine feminine they're longing to speaking up yeah you got you gotta let this person know how you feel and you know that you recognize that but you also need to do right by the family you already created and making sure yeah you are also you don't need to earn the correct karma by starting something with someone else when you're already in something else that's earning bad karma for you um and I wouldn't suggest bringing this person into your life if you're going to continuously push that sexual boundary before you're out of something. Be cautious of the karma you are earning for yourself. Spirit is saying. Visionary, but you trust what you see, not in the 3D, but in your third eye and trust what you feel because the 3D is not real. So if your divine feminine is cold, acting like they don't care, it's actually the exact opposite and you feel it in your soul. Don't doubt yourself, but trust and know that you are going to get away from the snake as well. It's time to speak up to them. It's time to let them know that what vision you see for your life and that you're going one way. You can't have both. You really got to make a decision and if you have made a decision and you're working your way out, just keep doing it in the best way that you can. But you are getting a wake up call or you have about this divine feminine. You've been feeling them pull away from you. It's been wakening you up, making you realize that this situation over here is costing you more than you're willing to pay, which is a part of your journey. All right, let's talk about your connection in current energy what's currently going on inspiration your muses for each other you're both creating in an artistic way or some kind of way um or daydreaming about a life together you're you're protecting you're both in your areas protecting this divine feminine is protecting the divine masculine but from karma by not allowing this divine masculine to overstep when they're in a commitment because that would earn them bad karma but also themselves they're also protecting future um spirit babies but yeah you're both healing healing from past love situations and healing from trauma within each other and this situation anything else for current energy beauty you're both very sexually attracted but this is about seeing the beauty loving each other's soul and not for what each other has or what each other does you're genuinely lit up and in love and sexually pulled to each other for who you are let's talk about future stuff what's coming in the near future for the two of you near future Yep, new beginnings. So this is going to be a new beginning here. Whether you're as friends or lovers, we shall see. Bite in your load, getting rid of that karmic. Could be more than one karmic. Having that sit down, expressing to each other. Fertility, kids are in your future for sure. You guys are definitely having some spirit babies pop in. And you guys are going to be a power couple. You're going to be strong together. Fierce, I'm hearing. Yeah. And you're both going to heal each other's mental health and heal each other sexually. This is a relationship you're both going to trust. And with it, you're going to grow into strong, stronger creators or whatever it is that you do. Because your talent is going to lift because of this connection, this passion, the beauty that you inspire in each other. But yes, you will make up, you will make peace, and you will come back together. So, anything else we need to know about how the Divine Feminine is feeling? Say what you mean. They want, they want the tea from the Divine Masculine. I feel like this Divine Feminine has put up those boundaries, has at least energetically said, this is what I'm not tolerating, this is what I want. So they want to know what the Divine Masculine is not tolerating and what they want. Say what you mean. 
Don't sugarcoat it. <laughs> Victim consciousness. They're still hurt. They still have like those body issues of rejection, feeling unsexy, unwanted. They're trying to cycle out of that. They're trying to learn to love themselves and have more self-esteem. Yeah, they're trying to f believe that they're beautiful again because this all took a hit to their pride in some way. All right, anything else we need to know about the Divine Masculine? That the Divine Masculine does think you're beautiful, Divine Feminine. How could you ever think you're not beautiful? Bam, they answered you. They love you, flaws and all. You gotta let that go, Divine Feminine. But I feel like this is also a mirrored energy. They feel like the Divine Feminine isn't attracted to them. They're trying to manifest the Divine Feminine back or a chance to have them come into their life in some way. They felt like they sold out, that they picked the wrong one. They're sick of selling out. They're sick of being away from this Divine Feminine. Yeah, they, they want to be wild and follow their passion and, and stop selling out and doing stuff or being with people that they don't want. Their heart is leading them to you, and so is their body parts. If you ever doubted Divine Feminine if this person is lit up or finds you attractive, fuck yes they do. You need to let that shit go about each other. That's a mutual vibe. You both love and adore each other. Let's close out your reading for some last advice before I fall asleep at my own tarot table. <laughs> I'm getting lower as I get more tired. Sorry. I'm running out of empty. That isn't supposed to be in there. It's just a blank card. I don't know why they put that in there. Poise, yeah. It's like you're both in a, a moment of wait. There's a stalemate, a pause. There's no movement. Time for a nap. You both hit the brakes. You're doing your own work. Clean it up. That divine masculine is cleaning up their karmic mess. The divine feminine is healing from karmic messes. Divine Feminine wants it done the correct way, doesn't want the Divine Masculine to come in, until they are free and can give them their heart loyally. And that's a mutual energy. The Divine Masculine doesn't want to offer anything to the Divine Feminine until they want to come correct. They want to offer their heart. This is a mutual energy. You both are expressing that you want to tell each other the truth. You haven't told each other that you want each other. Um, there might have to be some travel for you two to come together. I do see that happening because you see each other as the one that balances you out, your other half. Um, you see prosperity in the workspace together, so you might want to collab. But this is like that milk and honey, that sexual drive. Also, you're going to have children. Divine timing is going to work itself out. This karmic snake and all these troubles, you know, they're going to fade out when they're meant to. Divine timing is going to take over. Um, divine timing might be now. This might be happening in the spring. Egg is talking about Easter. I'm definitely getting Easter vibes. Easter dinner. So something might be happening over Easter. Um, either making a baby, a divorce going through, communication happening. But it's like a never-ending story um, with this karmic. Like They're just very vindictive. So I feel like Fate might be stepping in to cut them off. Or you're just both in that continuous rut of I'm not good enough and you and you keep self-sabotaging. So spirit might be coming in to cause tower moments in your life to, to get you guys over that. So that you're meant to co-create, especially life. You're meant to have babies together. But I also felt a collab in the workspace. You keep going around and around. You can't forget about each other. No matter what you do, no matter how you try to put each other away, um, you just want to rush to each other, especially the Divine Masculine. It's going round and around with their karmic. They just want out. They want to rush to the Divine Feminine so they can start this new life. But it's like a never-ending 
fucking story with this karmic. They just want their time, eat their time, you know, pushing back court dates, being petty, um, wants them to stay stuck in the here and now with them and not go towards what they want. Um, but spirit is bringing the energy back. The sparks are flying. I think you're very much into each other. The sexual desires are kicking off. Um, spirit babies want to be born. So I feel like your passion for each other is on a rise. Somebody's going to move on towards this relationship. I feel like a physical move. Um, maybe you're moving in with someone because they have kids. Maybe you have to move because you're from different places. I'm not really sure. But a move will be required in the near future. Anything else we need to know about this love situation? To the sea, yeah. You're going to have to move on from things and you're going to be um, moving. Like leveling up spiritually, leveling up in a professional sense, leveling up in... Um, you might even... You might even make a baby at sea. I don't know why. I just feel those vibes you're not at peace without each other you're always feeling like you're not whole like even if you're from two very different places you just balance and center each other you're not at peace apart your souls are are not at rest when you're physically apart because you're each other's one wish fulfillment it's like you dreamed each other into life you feel blessed you feel like this person is an angel you you want to change this and get this ball rolling you both do you feel unfinished things said unfinished things done you just want out of this karmic situation and that time might be now to walk away from that karmic because this connection is faded point blank period but you were asking yourself a lot both of you why why is this all happening why is it so hard but you're not giving up no matter how many times you guys say you're done you're walking away you center you balance yourself and you realize <laughs> this person's my other half. I can't fight it anymore. You can't get each other out of your minds. Constant thoughts. But somebody needs to make a choice here. Or the choice was made and they just can't move down that trail yet. But trust to give it to the higher power. They're taking over. They're going to put the work in and match the work you're putting in. Trust your trust your instincts. Trust your guides. Trust what you feel and know that you're going to get there, that this is going to mend, that you're going to exchange your um, ideas for the future. You're going to exchange your feelings. Um, communication coming in very soon for that, that you're soulmates and that you love each other and that you want to live together and build a community and an empire together. Um, but you both feel left out. You feel alone without each other. And I think you're both going to admit that you watch and are a fan of each other and daydream a lot and dream of each other. Um, but you're both aware of this karmic issue. Not sure what the karmic issue is or who the karmic issue is, but you're both on the same page of this karmic's got to go. This divine feminine won't even approach you with this karmic, and you won't approach them with this karmic. You're protecting each other. You both just want to be happy. You feel like home with each other, but when you're apart, you're not happy. You, you feel imbalanced, and you both want this new life together, and you're going to get it, but it's going to take getting out of this karmic situation, which you're both well aware of, so keep Moving forward, if you are doing the work, if you're at this stalemate and you're in this woe is me energy and you're not putting movement, you're just going to stay stuck in there until you meet spirit halfway and start putting some movement in it and then you're going to see things open up for you. So I hope this was helpful for a Pillow Talk Saturday. I will see you all tomorrow for our Soulful Sessions with Spirit. We are talking about how to forgive your parents, like uncles, cousins, siblings, anything that went down when you were a child big small um anything that you need to let go of to be a more healthy vibrant person i'm going to help give you some tools and guidance there so stay tuned for that if you're interested if you like this pillow talk session if you want more like this in the future please give me a thumbs up below let me know in the comments if you like my energy please subscribe i would love to have you all of my subscribers i freaking adore you couldn't be here without you i love you and i hope you all had an amazing saint patrick's day um yesterday and weekend as it continues 
and I'll see you all again soon. I need to get my booty hootie to bed. <laughs> Even though it's now daytime. Toodaloo, boo-boos. <laughs>